Hi guys, welcome to a Minerval Assault Squad 2 Beta Competition 1 vs 1. We have Winterwolf uh, on the USA team from Palestine up against Shinito, who I'll be spectating on the German team from USA. This is the second replay, uh, probably the seventh time <laughs> uh, Winterwolf's connection or, has, or his PC has crashed. Uh, Shinito is choosing to win, I guess, the chivalrous way. He wants to win by winning the game without the crashes. So good on him as he's going to the center southern side as well so only choosing to go two flags here as Midwolf's going straight in there as well but getting ambushed with the SDG 44 and loses two guys there on the southern side we see him getting to the flag first Chinito doesn't actually have a guy moving in yet one guy leaning against the rock over there so got a good presence in the center eastern side full weight of the squad possibly going to the right hand side to overwhelm Oh, you see, there they are. So giving away the southern flag at the moment. But kind of pushing off with the side flank here. This is a nice one here. Bacaj. Using these, this area here, really forcing the, sh the cap in the middle by sending the weight. Then using this area here to assault this left-hand side flag. It's a very w well played move by the Chinito and it's worked very well. So that's a good position to be in. And also, well that's not a very good infesting. Maybe infesting somewhere where it doesn't have a balcony, so <laughs> he's not that exposed. But decent try there. Over here, northern side. A full squad almost. Will stop the cap. Will it stop? It has stopped the cap, so that's not good. As grenade madness here by Chinito. Porsche by Winterwolf here. Getting a bit pinned down at this stage. So the Germans here obviously have the advantage at the start with the Assault Squad spam. But once the shotgun has come out, Winterwolf also setting some assaults down this line here. The USA Assault Squads are better uh, because of the M1 Garands, but you can argue that uh, Germany has the SDG-44 which makes them potentially better. And cheaper most definitely. As we here see another Assault Squad and another one here. So a bit of a miss by there by Chinito. Not quick enough to buy that other assault squad before so just buying two in a row so a short three cap here six to zero one to each flag center here really infested here but uh, not defended from this side here so you may be able to get it there but what's this over here that's a squad leader good that will do lots of damage down this center here as over here a nice spread by Winterwolf as well here sandbags rocks I'm gonna try flank with grenades as well so this assault squad here a bit ambushed, but over here, wow, look at that, that's a good ambush here by Chinito, right here. Grenade here by SMG, maybe over the bridge. And running down here, from this flag here, this is a nice sweeping flanks here by Chinito. We'll catch this squad up the guard, off guard, let's have a look. Bam, 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 look at that, fantastic. Almost a complete flank there, stops the center from being capped, and over here. Their flank is continuing, but running into an FCG Thompson. Unfortunately, not micro too well. Gets taken out eventually. So holding these flags quite well. Now on the southern side, I'd say the U these USA players, in terms of their group, basically there's a group of players in this tournament from USA. Battle Ace, Janito, Boogeyman, they all seem to be Bacard specialists. And definitely can see that by their movements of the map, knowing where to move. Like in here, flanking over there, infesting the right ones over there. It's not something I know much about and I am learning from them right now on positioning and I like that. So definitely if you're playing, if I play Chinito I guess if he makes his way through the lower bracket, uh, you, you can't use those positions on me mate. I know all about your game. As here comes the assault squads. Coming down center. So oh, bad luck that MG just didn't get into cover in time to take out the assault squads. So this dangerous here. Lots of fire. Look at the amount of fire the Germans are able to put out with this assault squads. And anything that comes down here won't have a chance. Look at this. Just total chew. Fuck. Meat grinder here. The USA meat grinder down the center. And these guys can choose to quickly come to the left to shoot down from here or back around here. It's fantastic this map. As here comes a 50 cal. Nice buy here from Winterwolf. 
uh, definitely what he needs. He definitely needs something to kill infantry because he does not have um, any power in terms of infantry to do well. Sniper's on the field too, but here he comes. 50 cal. Save the day, maybe. Oh, so much fire. Even the 50 cal can't take it. Look at that. MG42 up here as well. 50 cal has to back away even. So the standard counter for infantry can't can't do much versus the weight of such superior German firepower. And the sniper is taking that soldier. Chinik Jonah is going to exploit it. Um, oh, AT rifle, engine damage. This is not looking good. Very, very awesome moves by Chinito in terms of pushing. Looking very strong on Bacage, I guess. Uh, like in before Schultz, where Winterwolf did win. Not as good. But now, really, Chinito can use. I guess the length of the flag base from the center is not too far. You can quite easily jump on there and quickly support or quickly attack and change his directions, attack directions, which Nito is doing very well. Far out. What a grenade there by Mr. Winterwolf, taking out three guys. So maybe able to take center soon. Far, this SDG44 there is so good. See this guy there? It's taking out all the guys coming down here and Winterwolf doesn't know much about it. He can't do any much about it because if he wants to grenade it, he'll be shot by the guys over here. And a flank here by Winterwolf. Decent play here, trying to flank this guy. And doing quite well, the guy in the balcony. But uh, unfortunately, MG42 will not stand a chance in the long run. As here comes the assault squad down the line. We'll stop that nonsense. And a 3 cap here with the 223 on the field. Interesting play. This is Brigham style. Oh, wow. Nice on to Winterwolf. Catches that 223 off guard. That's the downside, I suppose, of being so aggressive and risky with your play. Here comes the assault squad. Naturally, you go down here, and it's it's really hard because of that STG-44 there. I wonder if uh, Winterwolf does notice that. But coming here to a flag over here, which isn't defended that well, so it's a good play. Full assault squad here could go storming down here, flank that other troop over there, or come down here, over here, and flank them over there. So Janito has a chance. This STG-42 has taken out three guys too, so this is a fantastic back position, guys, for an STG-44 to have. This is good play. Usually STG-44s, I'll use it out in the open so they can shoot as much as possible, but having it back here where it's so accurate really takes down everything so quickly from behind. Um, it's just quite, quite nice. As Assault Squad's here, we should come to the right-hand side maybe just to support, but I guess Shinto may be looking for a more solid type of defense. Going to hold three flags very well instead of Sorry, two flags very well, instead of three flags quite lightly to... not going to overextend his front here. But here's Brandenburger, MG34. Oh, grenade! Brandenburgers! Oh, four Brandenburgers perish. Another two. Far out, far out. Winterwolf, that was just awesome grenading there. Takes out a full squad of the Brandenburgers minus the MG there. MG could probably come up here, back here with that uh, crate here and shoot down from here. Have the elevation plus the cover. And there you go, so all eyes will be on this MG now. 50, 80 infantry. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was fancy. That's pansy style there. Very nice, though. Um, phew, that was funny. Very, very nice. By Winterwolf. So, Chinito. Uh, Voltstrom here, capping the northern side. And the southern side, we hear an assault squad coming down. Uh, none of them using these these uh, bunkers you can actually grenade in and go inside as Hansi has shown in his other matches. Very nice of him. So 42, very hard for Winterwolf to come back here. He's gonna not take this flag as well. Look at this ambush here. Chinita's having troops in awkward positions. Naturally you're going to cover far away from the flag and having units in the open like this. Grenade here from Winterwolf may save the day. Does so. Wow, they escaped to the sandbag quite easily and still pose, another, pose quite a big threat far out. They're doing very well. Look at that. These guys have held against the assault squad there. MG out in the open. Oh, perishes. M20 out. Desperate times here. Five points to go. This may be a big wipe here. Chinito on the southern side. Northern, nothing. So, I'd say really, um, Chinito does play well as Germany with his assault squads. Winterwolf um, it's quite chivalrous with his play with uh, USA. He doesn't really go shotgunners. And to his detriment, maybe. But there, M20 doing well. But it, I dare say it's way too late. So 
It's 48 GG's. Bad luck to Winterwolf. This is out of the tournament now. This is the lower bracket, so there's no second life. He did quite well. He had a tough round here playing uh, Hansi first round, then uh, Little Chinito in uh, two matches later, a match later. But there it goes, so good game, and Chinito progresses.